Okay, we are back. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be SAR one. I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So, without further ado, let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the virtual box. So now we can go into the Linux virtual machine. As you can see, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as two hundred and fifty-two. You can use to like net discover or other similar tools to do this. And then I did the nmap scanning. I did the sync scan, the version scan, the default script scan, and also the comprehensive scan or full range ports scan by option of dash p dash. From nmap scanning results, as you can see, there is just only one open port, which is running over. The virtual machine or target. The port number is eighty, and the surface is HTTP, and also the actual version information. So what we are going to do next is to do some emulation for the eighty ports. Now we can launch our browser and put the IP address of the virtual machine. And the just、uh, default Apache two page, and、uh, we can check the source code of this page, but nothing special or interesting can be found. And then we can check whether this site or virtual machine has robots file. Yeah, it does. So we can try to access this directory. As you can see, we can get the version of the CMS, which is set to HTML, and also the exact version information. So we can use the search sprint utility. So and the version number matches. So we can. Uh, got or retrieve this exploit code by option of M, and then we can、uh, rename to exploit py, and now we can run the this exploit code, and、uh, this. Want us to provide the URL, and we can make a copy. So I think this is some sort of the web shell, and、uh, we can run the command like id the list, and now we can navigate to another directory, but we cannot do this. We cannot make navigate navigation of the directory, so I think we need to spawn a new shell or a sort of a normal shell. And I try to several ways. As you can see, we can use the pen tester, a monkey, pen tester monkey. And I tried like、uh, this, and also, also this way, but、uh, both of them are not working. And then we, I try to use the Python, and we can check the version of the Python. Python three is installed, so I'd like to use the Python command of the reverse shell. Just、uh, yeah, this 
website to give us this line of code. So we can make a copy to the launch to this pad. I have already done that. And also we need to change the IP address to Canon Linux and also the port number if you wish. So I'd like to make a copy of the whole line of reverse a shell command. But before we run uh, this line code or command, we need to set up the listener first. And then we can hit enter. As you can see, we got the reverse shell or a new normal shell. And we can make this to be interactive PTY module as UU beam bash. And now we can make a normal navigation and we can go to the love. We can do some uh, very basic local immigration. For example, here there is a one very interesting directory which is SSH, but uh, permission denied. So also we can check the sudo, but uh, we cannot run this command with the user uh, www data. And also we can find the commands which have the SUID bit, like uh, perm. And we just uh, care about the file, not uh, directory and the redirect error to the black hole. But I can tell you we cannot find any useful command for our purpose. So what can we do? And um, we can cut the cron job. Cron tap, sorry. As you can see, yet yeah, there is a one a cron job which is running by at the interval of five minutes so we can go to this directory to see what we can get we can cut the finally yeah this shell script is running by the root user so it means that we can get the root shell by manual mate, manipula manipulate uh, this shell script. But uh, this shell script itself is not permitted to make a modification because we the root the user ww data doesn't have such privilege to modify this file. But however, inside this shell script, this shell script is actually running uh, this file under the same directory. As you can see, this, shell, this write shell script just uh, create the, the file getaway. So I think uh, we can modify or append the one line of a command to spawn a new new shell and because this write shell script is run, is executed by the finally shell script and the finally shell script would be run regularly uh, five minutes uh, every five minutes and then we can get the root uh, shell. But I can tell you, I try to append like an we use the different number to this file. Oh, sorry. We can do like this one. Bin bash. 
and uh, append to right. But I can tell you, this way will be will not be working. To save time, I will not try here. So I think one way ca which can work is to up to upload the reverse shell PHP code onto the virtual machine, and then we can use the PHP run this, uh, the PHP code, and then we can get the the shell. But first, we need to upgrade. I think uh, upgrade to temp directory, or we can up upload to the sa and uh, this. Yeah, upload. I think we can upload the reverse shell PHP code onto this directory, and and now we can copy from my two sets. And we need to modify the the code a bit. Change i change IP address to Kali Linux. And then we need to change the port number. Of course, this time we need to use a different one, which is 666. And now we can, of course, we need to set up the web server by Python. And then we go back the terminal. We can use the wget to download the shell PHP. Yeah, it's OK. So now we need to. We can echo PHP, and we need to run this, and append to write, because WW data has the right to, to append or modify the content of this file. Okay, but uh, and at the same time, we need to set up the listener. And then we wait for the new collection, which is originated from the virtual machine. But as you can see, the cron job. This job or task will be run at the interval of five minutes. So I'd like to pause the video. And then when, as you, as you can see, we got the new shell. And uh, from the banner, we can know this shell it has root privilege. And we can check the ID, which is root. And we can navigate to the root home directory. And we can get or retrieve the root flag here. So, okay, we success successfully completed uh, this virtual machine. Okay, that's all I'd like to go through this virtual machine. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.